Hi, welcome to Nareesh IT. This is Kishore, and now I am going to discuss about friend functions. In C++, there is a concept called friend function and friend class. Now, in this session, I am going to discover what is a friend function. Okay, first of all, generally functions are used for what? Data accessing in C++. Generally, in C++, there is a rule. What is that rule means? The class data, the class private data should be accessed only with the member functions of same class. Okay? The private data of a class should be accessed with the member functions of same class, which is called data hiding means outers are not allowed. But there is a situation, but there is a situation, two classes are there. Okay? two classes are there and they are having different members. Now, I want to access both the classes data through one member function, through one function. Okay? Generally, C++ not supports this concept, but by using this friend function, we can achieve this one. Okay? That is why a friend function is not a member of any class, simple logic, but it is able to access the private members of those classes where it is introduced as a friend. For example, I am giving small example. For example, we are having a house okay, and we are having a family. For example, I am having a mobile. okay. I am having a mobile. Now, I am the owner of that mobile and directly I can use this phone okay, without any permission okay, because of I am the owner of this phone. Next, my family members watch this my family members they can access my mobile because of they are my family means same family members but uh, outers are not able to access my mobile without any permission watch this example here me and my family directly can access the mobile phone but outers are not able to access because of my mobile is private that is why when it is private only the authorized person can have the access, outers are not allowed. But uh, I am having one friend, watch this one, but I am having a friend, actually friend means what? He is not my family member, he is not my family member, actually he is outer, but uh, he is a friend, that is why he is able to access my mobile okay, without any permission because of that friend. Okay. Here also same, suppose there is a class. Okay? Now, outers in class data is not available to outers, but I want to access the class data from outside. Then it is possible only with the friend functions. That is why simply a friend function is a non-member function. Clearly, a friend function is a non-member function of a class, but it is able to access the private data of class. Okay? Due to this advantage is what? For example, I am having three classes. For example, I am giving, suppose it is the X class. Here A data member is there and here it is the Y class. Here B data member is there. Here Z class. Here C data member is there. Now, I am having three classes. Now, my work is I want to find out which one is the big either A or B or C. Now, the point is A, B, C are private data members. Now, C++ rule is what? To access the private data, here we have to write one function and to access this private data, another function. Next, to access the C, another function. That means, how many functions required here? Three functions are required. Next, to find out the big, I have to write one more function. That means what? One more function means total four functions. Now, when our classes are more, the functions also increased. No? That is why program size increased. Now, it increases the program size. That is why to avoid this problem, I am going to make one function as a friend. Now, watch this. Here, there is no function. Okay? Here there is no function, here there is no function. Now, 
here only one function that is big, but uh, I am introducing big as a friend and this one also friend and this one also friend. That means now the big is the friend for both x, y and z classes. When a friend, suppose just before I said one point, I am having a friend, when he is friend he is able to access my data and he is having another two friends. That means, he is able to access those members data also na? now the same thing is happen and whenever it is friend to x, y, z classes means it is able to access x class data as well as y class data as well as z. Now, how many functions are required? Only one function due to this our program size is reduced, it increases the performance of the program. But uh, here the most important thing is C++ main concept is what data hiding means from outside the class we are not able to access the data members, but uh, it is against to that concept ok. That is why friend functions are against to friend function concept because of they allows to access private data from outside functions means non member functions that is why only up to this class we have discussed only the members can access the data, but using friend functions non, non member functions ok, non member functions can also access the private data that is why they are against data hiding concept that is why use the friend functions whenever absolutely they are required ok, otherwise do not go for friend function because of their against data hiding concept. Next, what are the rules and regulations for friend functions ok. Now, friend function name of any type generally constructor the rule is what constructor name means function name should be matched with the class name, but here there is no problem at all friend function name is what it may be ok, friend function name is what it may be there is no relation between class name and fun function name. Next, here in constructor we are having major rule what it is they should be declared they should be declared in public section but for friend function there is no rule at all we can declare the friend function in private or public or protected wherever wherever in class we can declare the friend function in private or public or protected why because logic simple it is not a member na. actually friend is what it is non member means anywhere we have declared the meaning is same now ok. That is why the point is wherever we can declare the friend function at any place in our program without changing the meaning that is why we can declare friend function at any place there is no problem at all. Next friend function declaration here the friend function declaration should be conducted inside the class a friend function declaration should be conducted inside the class with the friend keyword it is another most important role ok. A friend function declaration should be conducted within the fun class using friend keyword we know that we are having three stages in a fun function declaration function declaration calling definition and now the declaration should be conducted within the class using friend keyword. Next another important role the definition should be conducted outside the class and here another important role in definition do not use the friend keyword. The definition should be conducted outside the class without using friend keyword ok. It is the another most important thing and next we can introduce a friend function to any number of classes ok. We can introduce a friend function to any number of classes next another important thing ok. Actually friend function declaration is conducted inside the class definition is conducted outside the class, but CPP rule is what private data is not available outside the class na? but here the definition is conducted outside the class then how they can access that is why the most important role is friend functions obviously they are having objects as arguments friend functions they are having objects as arguments because of object means what copy 
class copy na copy means they are having same data na that is why when object is passed means data members are also passed that is why friend functions they are having objects as arguments ok. Next here they are not members watch it friend functions are just functions friends only they are not the members they are non members that is why here friend functions are called like the normal functions actually in C++ rule is what the member function should be called using object name followed by dot operator ok. The friend function actually here the member function should be called using object name using dot operator, but here it is a friend function means it is not a member it is non member function that is why it is invoked like the it is invoked like the normal functions do not use the object name followed by dot operator. Next friend functions are what non members that is why they directly not able to access the data members we know that data member should be accessed with the member functions only, but here friend function is not a member non member that is how to access means using the object name dot membership operator inside the friend function inside the friend function to access the object data we should have to use object name followed by dot operator ok it is it is the rule for friend function accessing that is why it is how to define a friend function and how to access the friend functions ok. That is why friend functions reduce program size because of instead of declaring several functions only one friend function is enough. Now I will show you how to work with a friend function ok call common header file. Next uh, here I am giving first a small simple example class sample here int a comma b ok. Now int a comma b data members next uh, it is the declaration friend function declaration every friend function declaration should be preceded with the friend keyword next written type what it may be void suppose print and just before I said actually it is a non member function of this class when non member function is there you should have to define outside the class, but outside the class data members are not available that is why you should have to send the object as the argument that is why sample that is all. Now watch this example here print is the function name print is the function name and it is not going to return anything and it is what friend to this class it is friend function declaration that is why whenever you are going to declare a friend function first of all you should have to use friend keyword return type function name and uh, friend function definition is outside the class now that is why object here sample is what sample is the class name ok and actually objects are defined from class name now that is why I am going to send the class name as argument now I need to define the function and different definition it should be definition should be outside the class now that is why here already we have discussed that rule only in declaration area we should have to use friend keyword, but now I am going for definition definition should be outside and the rule is what in definition do not use the friend keyword that is why directly written type now void ok. Next function name is what print suppose print and here definition is outside now that is why we have to declare the object means parameter is object type sample for example s yes. now s yes is the what object s yes is the object explicit object now here c out or first of all we have to send some data na a comma b that is why s dot a equal to 10 s dot b equal to 20 now watch here when it is no normal member function when it is normal member function there is no need of s s yes only a b is enough why because members are having the ability to access the data members directly without using object name. But 
here print is what not a member it is friend only that is why whenever you are accessing data members through friend functions compulsorily have to provide the object name. Next C out a equal to s dot a and l and C out b equal to s dot b. Now function close ok function close. Now it is the class declaration part and it is the friend function definition. Now we have to invoke this simple main function. Now I am going for a main function sample ok suppose yes no problem here object name already s is there now and we can declare s here also next clr s here common and later now it is a friend function now ok print is the friend function that means it is not a member when it is member we should have to invoke it with the object name but it is not a no, member means non member that is why it is called like a normal function print ok in bracket uh, we have to send the object name that is all now print is called in bracket what we are sending yes now it is the actual parameter it is received by this formal parameter ok that is why here what happened it is the s object ok s is having a b now this one is passed to this s ok now s dot a becomes 10 and s dot b becomes 20 ok later c out a and b values output is a value 20, 10 and b value 20 that is it now get ch program finished actually in this example i have taken only one class because of it is our first example how to define a friend function ok that is why i have introduced the friend function to only one class. In next session, I will show you how to work with the multiple classes using friend function. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for watching.